welcome to this video playing Grandmaster Doctor from Russia. I forgot I forgot the name. I forgot his name. I had looked it up. Alexander Kazin. Yeah, I had looked it up just a couple of days ago because I played him before. E3. Yeah, we have the Trump here. And this is uh, this knight f6 move is the recommendation of Grandmaster Boris Abruk in uh, his um, d4 sidelines book. And, uh, it's basically transposing to a um, to a London system where Black has lost the tempo, but his but he argues that uh, it is the London setup is so harmless that you could easily uh, play it with the tempo down. Okay, well, black is certainly, if you look at the concrete game position, black certainly does not uh, experience any particular problems. Okay, so he tries to get something going along the a4, e8 diagonal. Yeah, I think I probably should give up this bishop before he comes with knight e5. And now just... Um, complete development yeah white white got the bishop pair but uh, this is not um, not so uh, decisive in this position Yeah, if I really want, I can play knight e8 <laughs> and uh, get rid of the bishop pair or knight h5. Mm, but this is really a bit. Yeah, I can do that. Why not? I mean, it's uh, certainly simplifying. Yeah, come on. Let's get rid of this h4 bishop and. Um, stop this uh, worry that uh, the bishop pair might be a factor. Yeah, he probably will just take e7. Yeah, or this one. Is it, uh, is there a problem in some way? No, I don't think so. Queen g4 maybe, uh, I can still take. You can take h5 now and then, but but this, it doesn't really, it doesn't really um, look too threatening. Yeah, now with the dark squared bishop gone, the knight on f6 is a very useful piece, providing some uh, cover for the king and supporting central play. It um, cannot be um, harassed in any way. Yeah, or before some about the only uh, play that he has. I prepare e5. Ah, oh, that's an interesting move, but uh, d4, well, d4, he's got b4. I'm not sure that I should uh, should allow that, but I can just take if I, if I like, why not? So just, um, just simplify. Check. Yeah, that's uh, no reason not to. Yeah, well, a6 you will take. This is something that uh, <laughs> I must be uh, be cautious about. I can play uh, rook c8 though. On bishop b5, I have knight e7. It's just um, a position you need to play some precise defensive moves and then um, it should be okay. King e7, uh, maybe bishop a4. If I go knight e7, hmm, we can play rook d1. Hmm. Yeah. 
tiens. And forgot about that one. It's not uh, the end of the world, but um, okay. Well, it's still nothing, nothing special. Wow, I thought you would at least take on c6. I mean, this is just absolutely nothing. Okay, knight e7, rook d1. That's a little trick. Yeah, well. b5. Hmm. Yeah, it's on a light square, but still there's absolutely nothing going on. Check. Check. Hmm, yeah, well, you can try to Check. gain some space, of course, but I don't think it's, uh, it's really, really any, any substantial danger. Yeah, this, I think you overlooked b4, rook c3, b4. No, I'm just better. H5, yeah, this um, is something to be cautious about, but uh, I'll push B3. B3 is a big threat. B3 followed by knight c4. Check. Check. Let's see what's the best way to play that rook a1. Rook a1, knight a3 probably. I just got this check. Forgot about the check. Hmm. Yeah, that's a shame. I forgot about this bloody check. Time uh, warning. Check. Yeah, yeah, this was simply, um, I was simply too slow, what can you say? The whole whole game, uh, I, I'm just winning. <laughs> Black I'm, I'm just, I'm just time. winning if I have just one second increment in this game. Yeah, Check. yeah, Check. okay, guess it's counterplay, and then uh, it was just a matter of uh, concrete tactics. I, th I forgot that he has rook d8. I, I thought I can play king f8 and I, I cannot simply. And uh, this means, or this meant that I had to retreat the rook. And um, it wasn't uh, so clear at all. Around here, it's just a matter of one or two precise move and he just resigns. b2, for example, it's just winning here. Rook e3 can simply resign after that. Check. And here resigns, that's it. 
Yeah, yeah. The, this is this is the last counterplay, and about the only threat he had in the whole game, basically. <laughs> and this is still clearly better for Black, but uh, I, it's it's difficult to check to play with 15 seconds on the clock. Yeah, probably around here I can I can play it uh, play it uh, better. Yeah, b1 queen here. This is this is this is the the move that probably still wins. Though it's tricky now. It's two against one. But I have rook h2. It's probably still winning for black. Yeah. Well, okay. It was uh, I spent too much time simply because uh, I was worried about stuff he didn't play. I mean, to be honest, uh, taking on d7 here is just completely insane. Why? Why would you do that? Knight takes d6 Check. is just the clearly better move. The, at least this gives some slight chances. Knight d7 is just uh, just nothing, and uh, the only motivation to play this position for white is to hope for. Check. The opponent to fall asleep or something. Check. And then he um check. And then he blundered into into this uh, simple thing. Alright. Thanks for watching.